Hi YT, I'm back. Um, I have been really, really missing you guys. I have been gone, I know, for about almost four, if not even close to five months. I was in a very bad, funky headspace. There was nothing majorly going on. It was just a lot of different little things that were accumulating. And I just needed to take some time, regroup, um, come up with better game plans on how I'm doing things and things that need to get done that weren't getting done and things that didn't need to be done were definitely being done and you know I hope you guys understand that I know we all kind of get into those modes but um, I am back uh, I really really miss you guys I really truly want to first tell you guys I really sincerely appreciate each and every person that has stuck by me stuck by this channel um, I realized that when I took that break that I was probably going to lose quite a few subscribers and I did do that and that's okay because I kind of prepared myself for that because regardless to how many I lost or how many I gained any support to my channel by you all is so greatly appreciated and I truly truly love you guys I love you guys for reaching out to me on Instagram saying hey when are you coming back we miss you I miss you guys too um, even though I wasn't posting videos I was kind of posting on Instagram just to let everybody know that physically I was okay it was just you know when you're in that bad headspace sometimes you just need to pull yourself away away from whatever you feel is kind of getting in your way at the moment and regroup come up with better game plan and then come back as strong as ever and I want to come back and let you guys know that I love you and I thank you guys for sticking around those of you that have I really do appreciate it and I love you guys dearly I realized I was gone so long I have been gone almost close to five months now um, that I never showed you guys what I got for Christmas after Christmas all the sales after Christmas my birthday in March but I'm not even gonna take this first video all the way back to that because I've already pretty much put those things away so I'm gonna start this one off with IMATS and I'm gonna work from IMATS up to the current moment and if I could literally like flip this camera around and show you guys this makeup room of mine y'all be like okay wow like you really didn't stop shopping you know I wasn't letting that get in the way but other things was getting in the way so I apologize to you guys um, I hope to come back and make it up to you guys I love you and I miss you all right so I'm not going to do any major swatching. A lot of these items you have probably been totally indoctrinated with a zillion YouTube videos in reference to them. I just want to quickly find like a starting point for me to kind of jump back into this. So if you have any questions or any concerns or need to see anything swatched in particular just leave that information down below and I will come back and do that I am working on trying to stay very consistent here okay so crossing our fingers okay guys I love you alright so I met up with Joan A82 and we went up to New York City and we attended IMAX and one of the very first things that I wanted to get at IMAX was I wanted to go over to the Anastasia of Beverly Hills booth and so I did and the main thing that I really kind of wanted to get from her was the cream contour palette I wanted to get it to see if it would generally work for me and what were my thoughts on the product um, I can tell you right now everything is going to look so pristine because I haven't touched anything it's all been in a bag because I've been trying to get myself geared back up to making videos alright so the first thing I picked up was the cream contour kit and I picked mine up in a deep and I'm just going to quickly flip it open, show you what it looks like. I know you guys have seen it already. But there are the shades in the deep palette. 
and I think this will work very well for us brown skin beauties um, and she has three different shades I think there's a light like a medium and then there's the deep palette so I picked that up then I also was kind of on the fence on whether to pick up any of the liquid lipsticks by her because when I look at the general population and the different reviews on the items, um, it's kind of like a mixed bag. You get 50% of the people like them and then 50% did not like them. I actually have found that most people like the liquid lip glosses and when I tell you after seeing them and swatching them, I can tell you I think I like them better than I like the liquid lipsticks. But there was one or two shades that I did want to have in my collection. So, the very first one that I definitely wanted to pick up, and that was in Karina. And Karina is like this pinky coral. It is really, really gorgeous. So, I picked that one up. Also, while I was at the show, I picked up one of the liquid lip glosses, and I got the one in Orchard, and Orchard looks like this, just a really pretty orchid pink color, really gorgeous, so I got that. These are very opaque, um, if you are wondering, um, they definitely are not sheer. They apply really nicely, so I got that. Then I also thought while I was at the show that I picked up the Liquid Lipstick in Vintage, which is the purple one. But upon getting home, I realized that um, I did not get the Liquid Lipstick. I think I didn't mark that off correctly, and I ended up getting another lip gloss, but this one is in Vintage, and Vintage Lip Gloss is kind of like a pinky nude, and it looks like this. So, I, you know, wasn't disappointed because I did swatch this one, and I really did like it. Upon getting home, um... Anastasia had brought out some new shades um, in the liquid lipsticks and I really was very interested in getting the one in Unicorn. So I picked that one up which is like a kind of bubblegummy pink. And then I picked up the one in that's called Craft. And here is Craft. And it's kind of like a mulberry-ish type color pink. So... I got that. So those are all the Anastasia products that I picked up at the show. Next up, um, and surprisingly I stayed in budget once you guys see all of this. And I was shopping for not only myself but for three other people too. So the next stop was I went to Dose of Colors because Dose of, at that time Dose of Colors was debuting um, that Terra collection. And so I wanted to definitely pick that up. And I think I had a few people who wanted me to try to get it for them. There was a limit of two. You could only get two. So um, I didn't break my neck with that. But I did spend quite a bit of money at Dose of Colors because I substituted other products for people that could not get this one but if you need to see swatches of this particular uh, collection definitely check out CK Beauty her and her mini me did a wonderful job of showing them so um, in the Terra collection you get brick which looks like this the next one is called sand and from her swatching and lip swatches, uh, sand is definitely going to be one that you're going to have to put a lip liner on. Don't even think about doing the Tyrone Biggums thing with this on your lips, lady. Line it. And, and even then, it, it may still be a stretch. And then the last shade in that collection was called Stone. And Stone is really, really gorgeous. It's just a really pretty pinky nude so I got that collection and then also while I was there I met up with uh, another one of the young ladies that's in one of the makeup groups and her name is Helena and she is such a sweetheart 
And we were walking around looking at different things. And all of a sudden, she just walks up to me and she surprises me. She picks, she gets one for me. One that I actually didn't have in my collection. And, like, she really surprised me getting it. So, she brought me a Kiss of Fire when I was there. So, Kiss of Fire looks like this. This is kind of like a an orangey based red. It's really, really pretty. And then I picked up, um, while I was there, Bury Me Too. So I picked up that. I have buried the first Bury Me, and this is Bury Me Too. Really, really gorgeous. So that is everything that I got from Dose of Colors. Then we went over to um, the Artist Couture booth to say hello and take pictures with uh, Mac Daddy. And you guys might be might remember Mac Daddy released his own highlighters. But the day that he released those, I literally had forgotten about it. And so by the time I went to try and order, they were pretty much all sold out. Well, at the show, um, they were with the AMA, the Artist uh, Makeup Academy. And he had the little mini versions of the highlighters. Um, and you got all six for $50. And they came in this little bag. So, I have not opened any of them, but I'm just going to run through the ones that come in there. So, this is the size of the mini. And basically, really, I had one of the bigger ones. I was able to get one in um, Yes. And so, um, I had another young lady who wanted to try these. And so, I sent her my brand new big one. And I kept the little one. Because I'll never go through even the little ones. So, this first one is called Mermaid Fantasy. And this one has that really pretty green reflex to it. So, if anyone needs to see swatches of these, um, if you haven't already seen them on his Instagram, if you follow him on Instagram, or other people's videos, just leave a comment and I'll come back and swatch them for you. This next one is called Yes. And yes, it's like this really pretty peach. And it looks like it has um, just a really nice golden -y sheen to it. So, can't wait to play in that. This next one is called Double Take. And there is a Double Take. And it's also kind of like a peachy pink. It looks like it's got some kind of pink reflex in it. This next one is called Gold Digger. And Gold Digger kind of reminds me of like um, Albatross or uh, Whisper of Guilt. That gold, that really gorgeous gold that just looks really amazing on your cheeks as a highlight. So that's that one. And then there's two more. This next one is called Lickable. And Lickable is kind of like a bronzy, coppery kind of shade. So, can't wait to play in that one. And this very last one is called Conceited. And here is Conceited. So, that is all the Mac Daddy highlights. So, I'm kind of happy I was able to get that. Next up, I went to the Nigel's booth. And from the Nigel's booth, the very first thing that I really wanted to get, um, you guys have probably are very familiar with seeing the Graftobian um, foundation palettes, the little kits. Um, they're really awesome for you to customize and create your own perfect shade. Well, I wanted to try, keep hearing a lot about the RCMA um, makeup palette. And this one re was on sale for $55. And it comes in a palette like this. Pretty much just like the Graftobian. Only it's a different brand. And RCMA makes a lot of pro makeup products. Has a nice mirror. And then you get all of these amazing shades that you can mix and customize and create your perfect 
foundation shade, your client's foundation shade, instead of having to spend money on all these separate bottles of foundation. This is an amazing kit and this one is the VK number 10. So I picked that up. Next up, also while we were there at Nigel's, Nigel's also had um, the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette, the Semi Sweet. They had the Hourglass um, Eyeshadow Palettes. They had the Hourglass Bronzers and Highlighters and things like that. And so um, they had the Too Faced Naturally Matte Palette. And I am a collector of the Too Faced Palettes. I really like Too Faced Eyeshadows. Comes in the standard uh, Little Metal Tint. And these are all matte and natural. So these will make great everyday eye looks. The nice neutral eye looks. And then you can kind of, you know, smoke it out and get a really great smoky eye. So I picked that up. I think I'm um, on the, in the, not in the market anymore for any more nude shadows or matte shadows. Because I think I've matted it myself out. And then another thing that I picked up from there that I've been wanting to try forever is the Embryolis Cream Concentrate. And so I got the 65 year anniversary uh, edition and this is the gold edition. So I was really happy to get this. This is some pricey stuff, but it is hella, hella good. So I got that. And then also while I was there, they had like these different... Um, beauty blender sets and so I didn't necessarily feel like I needed the big one which I think came with like 10 or 15 beauty blenders or something in it for like $60 so I got this little kit which came with a pink a white and a black beauty blender then you got the little mini right there and a mini solid cleaner and this whole little set was like $35 so I got that also while I was there they had some singles and I don't own a purple one and so I missed the purple one when it came in Sephora so I got a purple now I'm happy and I'm definitely on this kick of having like a lot of black beauty blenders is it me or does anyone else notice that if they have beauty blenders um, the black ones for some reason I like them better than the colored ones. I think they just do a better job. Um, so, I don't know. I'm in a hunt for blacks. So, I picked up another black. So, now I have two. So, I'm kind of happy there. Alright. So, that's everything that I got from Nigel's. Then, we went over to City Colors. Just to see if there was anything new. Um, and, <clears throat> excuse me, I picked up two items. And the one thing that I really wanted to get is the City Color Timeless Beauty Highlight and Bronzing Little Kit. Um, a lot of people were telling me they found this in 5 and Below. But my 5 and Below has never had it. So, once I seen it at the show, I said, let me go ahead and get it. It, you know, it was probably under 5 bucks. But it comes with some beautiful highlighting shades and bronzing shades. And then I also picked up this little City Colors Intense Exposure Highlighting Powder. Um, and I have not played with it, but um, can't wait to see how that looks. So, like I said, if you want to see swatches of any of this stuff, just leave a comment down below. Then I stopped at Tweezer Man um, because I needed some brow scissors um, because the pair that I have are so dull. And so, you know, Tweezer Man makes some of the best products. So I picked up these brow clippers here. And I want to say these were $18. No more than $20, but I think they were $18. So I had to pick up a pair of those, so I got that. Next up, we went to Beautylish, and Beautylish um, was selling and debuting the Bioderma 
my, um, micellar water. Um, I've been hearing like a fabulous rave reviews about this product. Everybody's into this micellar water. Um, Google it if you don't know what it is. Um, they had a little special where you got the big bottle and this little travel size bottle for I think it was like 30 or 35 dollars so I couldn't pass it up so I picked those up so I got that from Beautylish next up we went to Lime Crime now with all the foolery going on over there at Lime Crime. You know, Lime Crime had been pretty much put on the back burner by quite a few people. Um, they just wasn't trusting Lime Crime with their credit card information because there's too many people's accounts were being hacked. And I had pretty much resigned myself to that fact also. But I also have been limbing to get the Venus palette. And every time I did go on Lime Crime, it was completely sold out. And so I was able to get the Venus palette finally. And this palette is so gorgeous. Like, I just need Lime Crime to get it together because no one wants their credit information and their bank accounts hacked and all that foolery. But here is the front of the palette. And when you open it up, you get a, a pretty nice size mirror. And then you have this like little protective tab covering and protecting your shadows. And these are the eight shadows inside of this palette. And I have been just like going gaga to have this shade right here. And that shade is called Muse. This is a really gorgeous kind of deep burgundy cranberry-ish color so almost bordering red so that is Muse so I picked that up and also while I was there I said well okay if I'm gonna bite the bullet doing this now at least I had you know cash money so there was no card information being messed up um, while I was there I picked up one more velveteen and this is the one in rave and Rave looks like this. You guys, excuse the red swatch on the inside of my hand. This is really, really pretty. Um, and then upon getting home, Lime Crime, you know, was trying to, like, I guess, try to make good on, on, on their debacle there. And so they were adding new things. And the people were worried that the site would sell out. And it didn't sell out. And so on and so forth but um they had two new shades of velveteen coming out and i really wanted to try those two shades and this first one is called faded so um i went on with my paypal so this way uh anything go wrong you know i can get my money back but here is faded and it's like a really pretty kind of mauvey pink And there it is, a swatched on my hand. And then I also picked up, oops, this one is called Bleached. And Bleached is kind of like this really pretty peachy shade. And it looks like this. And there it is, swatched out on my hand. So, that is everything that I got from Lime Crime. Then, I took a stop at Makeup Forever. And normally, during IMATS in New York, Makeup Forever normally does not um, have a booth set up during IMATS. They usually come to the makeup show but this year surprisingly of all the years I've gone this is the first year that Makeup Forever actually was selling products at IMATS and I think they were selling products because they were debuting their new um, Step 1 primer systems um, and they have like a bunch of different um, shades or levels I'll say of different types of primers that are supposed to help um, 
prepare your skin for your foundation, your makeup application, and to help it last and stay. So, um, I noticed, like, the one in the matte version, they didn't have, if you notice, here's a, like, I guess this would be considered the full-size version, and this is, like, the smaller version. And the matte version, they only had the smaller ones. They didn't have any of the full-size. So, this is step number, this is the number one, and this is the um, mattifying primer. And it comes in this little gray tube. Now, I will tell you if you have dry skin or close to normal kind of skin, I've been told that this like really, really mattifies your skin. Um, some people are even saying that, you know, it, it's too drying. It's kind of making their skin, you know, like a frown face like that. Um, so be cautious with this if you are a dry person. I think this will work well for all those oily girls or the oily combo girls. You can kind of strategically place this where you really need it and mattify your skin and then apply your foundation. This next one that I got is the number three. And this number three is the, um, the hydrating primer. And it comes in like this kind of light grayish too and this is awesome so if you're like me where you're dry everywhere else and then I'm kind of oily in the t-zone um my dry is like alligator dry so I definitely needed this one and then the last one that I picked up is the um radiant primer one like this one you supposed to kind of give your foundation that radiant glow and it's kind of got some color correcting properties kind of peachy shade so this is step or level eight for that one if anyone is interested also from makeup forever i also went on ahead and picked up the makeup forever pro sculpting duo in level number two um this has become a hot commodity um if you go to your sephora's like now the, the hype's kind of died down a little bit you probably can find it but back then i couldn't get it because it's always sold out um and the big rave is the fact that uh, the highlighting shade is very much like Max Whisper of Guilt. Um, a lot of people have said it's like pretty much a dead-on dupe for it. Um, I own Whisper of Guilt, but I, you know, the makeup junkie in me just felt like it had to have it. And it is a really gorgeous. So, that is the highlighting side. And here is the bronzing side which will probably be pretty close to my skin tone which it is so there is the bronzer so I can probably lightly use that you know set some stuff on my face and call it a day but I definitely wanted to get that so I picked that up and then the last thing from Makeup Forever I picked up one of the Makeup Forever camouflage palettes and this one is in the number four and I picked this one up more so for this orange corrector shade here. Um, you definitely can find orange correctors um, at a cheaper price point. Um, NYX makes one. LA Girls makes one now. And I can't find that to save my life. I really want to find it to try it. But I do know that this one is awesome. And then you have some deeper shades that you could use as a uh, contour. So definitely um, I'm not upset about spending the money to get this. Because it definitely will come in handy. Alright. And then the very last stop was to Morphe Brushes. Um, I had a few people who uh, missed out on getting the Jacqueline Hill palette. And when we first got to Morphe, it looked like, you know, they were not putting the limit and people were buying four and five and six. And then all of a sudden they realized, wait a minute, they only had 500 palettes at the show. So they had to kind of halt people in their track. And so the limit was like two palettes. And so once you got your two, that was it. 
Um, so I had already, I was able to get mine online, but I was picking the other ones up for other people. So I was glad that I was able to, to make their day and get that for them. So for myself at Morphe, um, I went brush shopping, you know, Morphe, I remember bringing Morphe's eyeshadows to you guys maybe about two, two years ago. Three years ago, the first time they came to IMAX New York. And I was so shocked. Like, the prices of the shadows was, like, literally dirt cheap. But the pigmentation was amazing. And then I had kind of started making little palettes here or there. And now, Morphe has made a name for itself. Like, it has some amazing palettes. Um, if you don't have an idea of what would be a nice shade for a neutral palette or what would you want in a smoky palette um, they've cut out all that guesswork for you so you can go on Morphe and they have the 35 B, C, D, W, N and smoky you can find exactly what you need and I guarantee you you will be in love with those eyeshadows they are amazing their brushes to me are a better version of Crown, of Coastal Scents, all of which have some amazing brushes at a, an affordable price, but these are affordable and they're hella hella good. So I'm going to quickly run through these and then I'm going to dead this video because we had 31 minutes. See, I've been gone so long, but that time ain't changed though. I'm trying to work on that. Like I'm trying to figure out how to make these things shorter because I know you guys are getting tired. Alright, so this very first one that I picked up is the G6 and it's from the Gunmetal line. And basically this is like a small stippling brush and I got this you know for applying highlight and stippling highlight so I picked that up also while I was getting that one um, they were ranting and raving about Jaclyn Hill's palette which is really really nice um, and also one of her favorite brushes and her favorite happens to be this G2 which looks like this and when I say this is a synthetic hair brush, it is super, super soft. So, you can use this for applying blush, contour, uh, dusting setting powder under your eye. You can use these brushes for however they work best for you. So, I picked that up. Then, I happened to be watching Miss Diva Like, and I could not for the life of me remember what number she said for the fan brush. So I'm standing in line and I'm like closing my eyes like, okay, Kiki, show me the brush. Show me the brush, Kiki. And this brush popped up. And I still don't know if this is the right one, but it looked like it. So I went on ahead and picked this up. And this is the M501. Uh, it's just a very small fan brush. Great for applying your highlight. Um, and I did. I needed one that was sturdy, small, and compact, and so I got that one. Also, I picked up the M330. If you are in the market for a a really, really good tapered crease blending brush, um, very much reminiscent to the Sigma E. I think it's E45. This M330 is awesome. It's n nice and tapered and it has that nice little tapered point so that you can apply your color, place your color exactly where you need it, and then blend it out. And I have kind of hooded eyes with a very small, tight crease like this is going to work wonders for me. Uh, I should have gotten like three or four of them, but... I picked up this, so I said I'll get them next time. This next one that I picked up is the number M511. And the M511 is this white goat hair brush, blending brush. It reminds me a lot of the MAC 222. And Morphe's brushes range anywhere from $2 to probably up to like $14 or $15 at the max. But 
most of these brushes are really, really reasonable. This next one that I picked up is the uh, M562, and I picked this one up because I have been trying to get the Sigma E36, I think it's the 36, it's part of their like precision line of brushes, and it's just a very small tapered uh, crease brush, and this one is like great for detailed work, and because I have that really tight crease, like you guys see that, it will get right in there and do what I needed to do. So I picked that up. I picked up the M, what is this one? No, this is the B73, which is just this really small tapered angled brush. I got this one for brow work. So and it's nice and it's got enough stiffness to it. Then I also picked up the M139, which is another kind of tapered crease brush. Looks like that. And then this very last one um, reminds me of one of the Mac, the Mac 135 brush. Only this is a white goat hair brush. It's like a giant version of this brush right here. And that's them side by side. And this is just going to be great for applying your highlight. Uh, you can apply blush. Uh, you can just do a multitude of things with this. And I love the softness of these brushes. Alright guys. That's it. 36 minutes and counting. I love you guys. Uh, hope you guys have a great evening. I'm glad to be back. I miss you. Mwah. I'll see you tomorrow with my makeup show haul. Alright. Take care. Bye.